हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दर सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ स्टॉप एंड बेट प्रोटोकॉल एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द इन पार्ट वन स्टॉप एंड बेट प्रोटोकॉल हाउ द सेंडर दिस ए इज द सेंडर बी इज द रिसीवर हाउ सेंडर सेंड ए पैकेट वन एंड एक्नो रिसीव एंड एक्नोलेजमेंट वन ए सी के हियर इज द एक्नोलेजमेंट सो दैट इज द प्रोसेस आफ्टर प्रोसेस ऑफ स्टॉप एंड बेट प्रोटोकॉल आफ्टर रिसीविंग ए एन एक्नोलेजमेंट ऑफ प्रीवियस पैकेट सेंडर अगेन सेंड इस पैकेट टू एंड रिसीव एक्नोलेजमेंट टू सो दिस इज दिनेरियो बाई विच दैट सिस्टम प्रोवाइड्स द रिलायबल डिलीवरी ऑफ द सिस्टम बट वट हैपन्स द इन दैट केस देर आर एन इशू एराइज दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज द टाइम आउट बिकॉज सेंडर Have to wait for a particular time or fixed time to receive an acknowledgement. So that is the most important thing, most important criteria of the stop and wait protocol. So we will see here how this time out works. So if the sender For example, here if the sender sender the receiver sender a receiver b sender send a packet. पैकेट वन वन इज द यूनिक नंबर एंड रिसीवर रिसीव ए पैकेट एंड सेंड एन एक्नोलेजमेंट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर पैकेट टू द रिसीवर टू द सेंडर बट सेंडर डज नॉट sender does not receive an acknowledgement within fixed time fixed time duration so it understand that the packet is lost sender a sender sends a or understands that the packet bun lost so again sender send a packet one means sender again retransmit that packet one to the receiver and again receiver send an acknowledgement for that particular packet but in that case receiver received the acknowledgement within fixed time duration so in that case receiver understand that the delivery of packet it completely so that is the first issue the receiver send an acknowledge but in between in over the network this acknowledgement lost and sender does not receive this acknowledgement so again the sender retransmit the packet and wait for a particular time to an acknowledgement after receiving this acknowledgement after receiving this acknowledgement after receiving this acknowledgement
after receiving this second number sender ensure that packet already delivered now sender again send packet 2 to the receiver and in that way the delivery of the system delivery of the packet send from sender to receiver is reliable so this is the first type of the issue means re receiver send an acknowledgement but the sender does not receive so the second issue in that case the second issue in that case is sender a receiver b in the previous we have to seen receiver send an acknowledgement but sender does not receive in that case sender send a packet 1 but receiver does not receive the packet and sender ensure from their side that he send the packet but wait for a particular time for an acknowledgement but during the fixed time he does not receive an acknowledgement from the receiver so in that case again it retransmit the packet and receiver send an acknowledgement for that particular packet within a fixed time so it will understand that the delivery of the packet is reliable and again sender send the next packet so in this scenario the deliver of the packet is reliable so this complete scenario known as the stop and wait protocol in this we have to see there are the properties of the stop and wait protocol what are the properties first one is the timeout sender should uh, send the packet and receiver should send an acknowledgement so after receiving an acknowledgement sender is ensured that the delivery of the packet is reliable so this is the part one and part two of the stop and bait protocol thank you for watching this videos for more videos subscribe the channel